Okay, um, I'm making this mostly for Stephanie because she was messaging me today about some sun flare issues at her last shoot, and I wanted to show you, um, as I was editing my shoot today, I'm like, oh, this is kind of a good example. Um, so this is that same family I just used in the head swap photo. Um, you can see obviously the sun is coming from right here down and it was pretty light but it was coming into my camera too much so it will sometimes give it this rainbow effect and um, then other little weird things. I don't mind like these big light circles kind of behind his head that doesn't bother me but this obviously does and it doesn't allow me to get a very crisp photo I don't know if you can see um, when the sun flare is that harsh. Here I've just rotated a tiny bit and you can, it's not a great picture yet, but you can see it's gotten rid of some of that flare. I'm still getting this rainbow effect down here. Um, I'm still hopping away and there I've got a tree. Again, unfortunately it's not my favorite face on the mom, but the boy's cute. But I think what happened because here it went right back is that a tree branch blew enough, it takes only a tiny bit of movement for the sun to be more filtered instead of directly into my camera. And there we have a nice crisp image. Again, this is not edited yet, but you can see no sun flare um, coming in, which is great. And then obviously we went right back to it. So I kept working. It's a, sometimes a matter of getting lucky and having the tree doing what you want it to do. And then the other thing is what I should have done is rotated myself. If I had taken a step over here, if you can imagine if I took a step to the left, the sun would be coming in this way and I would be shooting more that way. The sun would not be directly in my camera. Um, and here I moved. You can see like it's still coming in and I have this kind of funky thing. Now, if I have a shot like this that I'm like, oh, I just love everything about it except for this silliness here, then I will go into Photoshop and just clone stamp it out. It's kind of a time consuming thing because of a dress, like I'll keep all these lines pure. But um, if, it, if I end up with like, oh man, that's all I got. Look, see how crazy funky. Um, I have also done like, oh, I love this shot, but her hair has those, you know, big splotches in it. And I might take her hair from this and do a head swap. <laughs> so, um, but Stephanie, I mostly wanted to show you the example of what a slight, slight difference. Here we have a giant sun flare and there we don't. And, pro and I didn't move positions because you can see that is probably literally just a branch blowing and saving my butt on that shot. Um, which is why I shoot a lot there. I'm trying to scroll through quick. You can see I went back. This guy was having a little bit of a rough, rough time. But all of these, my mistake for being, I just had too much sun in my lens. I was telling Stephanie, had if, if, one thing you can also do is just get up on like a step stool and shoot more coming down on them um, so that the sun is not coming directly into your lens. You can tell, like, I'm shooting maybe a little bit shorter than this lady so the sun is able to get into my lens. Um, and it, do, it makes it hard to focus. Now, Stephanie, sometimes you just get this tiny little deal, and that's easy. And actually this, too, this little rainbow deal, I could clone that out in Photoshop pretty quickly, and that would be worth, um, you know, taking a minute to do that if I wanted to save that shot. Um, so anyway, I hope that helps. Um, also, the other thing is buying a lens hood helps too. It doesn't um, it doesn't fix everything. It just helps a little bit um, in certain situations. So definitely worth buying one. They're not that expensive. Um, so I hope that helps, Stephanie.